Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So also for Solana here, I don't see a, a need at the moment to change my wave count that I have on the chart here. It's pretty much still uh, aligning to it, still following my expectations here. So that's fine. I think only Bitcoin moved a little bit too high and invalidated this impulsive move down. But um, yeah, so far Cardano and Solana here still in alignment. Um, with my expectations, which means that this way for here highlighted, oops, highlighted in green has probably oh God, has peaked up here. Um, I still see it like that. And that when it peaked here at $58, it started to move down in an impulsive move down. And that we are now in this fifth wave after a wave four, because we are in a downtrend. Yeah. In a downtrend, we had a wave three here had a wave four correction because every impulsive move, a wave three is an impulsive move, moving into the direction of the higher level trend, yeah. So here, this is um, an impulsive move, that wave three, the wave four is correcting that impulsive move and then a wave five will take us again into the direction of that impulsive move or because it is an impulsive move itself. So it will take us again in the direction of the higher level trend and with a wave four complete here, we could already be in the fifth wave, um, indicated here by a five wave move down in a in a wave one, which is the first wave of the fifth wave. Um, we could now here be in the second wave, in a wave two of the wave five, that might be complete already. Yeah, we can see here an A, B, C, and this could now be complete. This was the target area for the wave two. You can see it did, at the moment at least, did adhere perfectly to it, you can see it here between the 38.2% FIP level and the 61.8. Normally a wave two goes ends higher than the 38.2. I've only started here at the 38.2 because we had a, a lot of wave twos recently um, finish at the 38.2. Now, okay, it moved higher actually into an ideal range for a wave two, which is between the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement levels. That's also why I had a target area in this range here. And we could now, be already in the wave three, which means the wave two could be complete and we could already be moving down here with the wave one, two, and then further down in a in a wave three. Um, but this is at the moment a little bit unclear. We don't have enough price structure yet to um, draw really good conclusions around that. So it would be the wave three here. That is what we would expect next. Then a wave four again to the upside for everybody who's not that um, exposed to the elite wave method, but that is what we would <clears throat> look at here a series of five waves, a downtrend unfolding in five waves to finish, however, the overall correction in which we have now been for a year pretty much um, in the crypto market generally um, to finish that off. Yeah, so just to indicate here the, the direction, we would expect here this to move down like that. That is at the moment the primary expectation. Now it doesn't mean it needs to go there straight away because there is a bit of an alternative scenario here which could unfold. And that would be, and I, I did talk about it in the um, in the Cardano video, it just means that that wave two could not have ended yet necessarily because it only reached the area between the 50% and the 61.8% FIP level. I wouldn't be surprised if we even reach a higher FIP level because as a wave, um, in a wave two, you can also without a problem retrace to the 78.6 or the 88.7. So to 56 or $57 and we haven't been there yet. So there is still scope for the wave two to move a little bit higher and a bit more of a, a complex corrective um, pattern. But for now I leave the wave two here because it is so far the peak and the other move, the other alternative would become way more likely above 54 US dollars. So watch out for the $54 level. We are currently in the overall target area here anyway, between 30 and $55 for everybody who's new on the channel. That is the target area I defined back in November, December for Solana. Uh, it originally started a bit higher, uh, went down to 55. Again, I don't wanna go through the whole history again, but this is the target area where most of those altcoins, um, where I expected most of those altcoins to turn around and to finish this whole correction off here. Yeah? because in the end this year was a wave one, down here a wave two. And um, this is where ideally you will see that correction to be finished. And it could be 
that this what you have see what you see outlined here in the roadmap now that this really will be the last leg down the last correction down um or let's say the last leg of the correction before solana will have a chance to turn around and move back into new all-time high territory now it would be nice if that really will play out according to this roadmap as we know in reality often you have these waves um, a little bit more messy a little bit more corrective a little bit more bearish whatever so there will be ups and downs here that we don't expect at the moment because we can't expect them because they wouldn't be the norm but this is typically what happens you know real charts are often a bit more messy but what we look at here for now is either a move above that let me just double check 54 dollar level then you know the wave 2 hasn't been finished yet so any move up here wouldn't be bullish again yeah it wouldn't be bullish it would just mean that we have to count this maybe a little bit differently so either we have to move the wave two higher or should we really move above 58 dollars now that would be quite a bit of a move up i don't see that at the moment which doesn't say it can't happen but a move above 58 dollars which would be above 13 13 percent actually um, that would actually indicate that this wave four isn't finished yet now at the moment there is no risk for that or not really can't see it at the moment because it would be a 13 percent move up which is quite significantly um and for now i think any other scenario is more likely but again we need to be aware we want to keep our mind open for all possibilities so if something changes in the chart as always i will make you aware um so we need to watch out for that 54 dollar level to the upside if that's broken the wave two is probably not finished then we can get to 50 um 57 or 58 dollars first yeah the 78.6 and the 88.7 percent fib levels or here on the way down, what we want to look at, out for is a move below $48. A move below $48 would indicate that we already here are in the wave three. At the moment, because we are here in a range now, um, anything is possible really. So we need to we need to wait how the market um, decides here in the next few hours probably or throughout the morning. Um, you can even see this as a bear flag. Yeah. So from that point of view also, it would be quite likely actually that we break here to the downside yeah we will we will see in this channel as long as we are in the channel we could also touch the resistance level of this one and the 55 dollar level which then would mean that the wave two isn't finished yet so for now until we are not broken out um we need to just be a bit patient yeah we are in a pattern here as you can see and we need to be a bit patient here um how this is going to unfold in the next few hours so far it's following my count following my expectations and I will, of course, keep you updated should anything change here on the chart. All right, that is my view here about Solana. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership and maybe even the trading course I'm currently publishing on the website, morecryptoonline.com. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.